video I'm going to compare some German words to English words because there are a couple that are very similar and that have a lot of parallels and I thought I'd share them with you because I think that is really interesting. I have always been very very fond of different languages and with me knowing a few at this point I am very fascinated with finding out the differences and like noting discrepancies and similarities in those languages and it's really really fun and I love it and I thought I'd share a few of my discoveries with you well it's not really discoveries anybody who speaks German and English can tell you those but I just think it's fun and the reason for there being quite a lot of parallels in those languages is that they both come from the same uh, language family which was West Germanic languages that then just uh, developed differently according to the area it was spoken in. I'm not going to go into exactly how languages evolve over time because that would just take up too much time. So they developed from the same root but in different ways and that's how we end up with different languages that still have some similarities and some words in common. Other reasons for there being uh, similar words is that some words, especially from English to German, were just taken because of the modern age, because of computers that were introduced. And the language of computers has always been English. So it was just easy to take the already existing word instead of making up an entirely new one for something we had never had to name before. I am going to separate this video into four parts actually. So the first one will be words that are basically the same or identical sounding at least in both languages and mean the same thing. The second one is words that are ident identical or almost identical but mean different things. And number three will be words that have been taken from German into English and then number four are words that have been taken from English into German. So one example of words that mean exactly the same thing in German and English would be butter. Butter is pronounced butter in German but it is essentially the exact same thing. Other examples would include finger, which would be finger in German, or ring, which you would pronounce ring in German. Words that are similar but not exactly the same would be water, which is Wasser in German, apple, which is Apfel, house, which is pronounced the same but written differently, house. Similarly, mouse is mouse, full is voll, and beer is beer. It gets a little bit trickier when we get to the part of words that are written the same way but mean entirely different things. One example for that would be gift. Gift means present in English, but in German that exact same word actually means poison, so be careful when you use it. Another one is a bit tricky for German speaking people because uh, we use the word handy uh, like something comes in handy, we use that exact same word to mean mobile. And a lot of people get confused at first and say, oh, can you pass me my handy? Or like, I have to answer my handy. And that's obviously entirely wrong. So be careful with that one. There are actually a bunch of those words. So I'm just gonna give you a little rundown of those. For example, schmuck means someone who's being a little bit of an idiot, but in German, that exact same word means jewelry. Another one is boot, which is a type of shoe in English, but if you pronounce it boot, it means ship in German. Another example for this type of word would be chance, which is a synonym for um, coincidence in English, but if you pronounce it chance, which is a little bit more French pronunciation, it means opportunity in German. Other words include tag, which is super common here on YouTube if you didn't know, but if you pronounce it tag, it means stay in German. Another tricky one for German speaking people is to see because it means look and the word see in German would mean lake. Now when we try to translate uh, see, which is our lake, into English we often write see with the e at the end. So it, we end up confusing a lake with the ocean. Other words would be director, who is obviously the person who like makes movies or like directs movies. If you spell with a K instead of a C and with a capital D, it means headmaster in German. Another similar word is fabric, which again with a capital F and a K at the end becomes fabrique, which means factory. So those are just a few things you have to be careful of if you want 
to learn either language while speaking the other natively. There are a bunch more words like this, so you have to be really careful when learning your vocabulary. Now on to words that have been taken from German into English. I'm sure you already know a bunch of them. They already even sound German, so I'm not sure how much of a surprise this is going to be, but I was surprised when I got to the level of English where those words are used in like everyday language and books and stuff like that I was like, oh my god The first time was actually Vampire Diaries and you might have guessed it doppelganger The only difference is that we spell it with a again capital D because it's a noun and we spell nouns with capital letters Surprise! And the other thing is that the A that's in there has two dots because that's the E uh sound that we have in German. The word actually consists of two parts, Doppel and Gänger. Doppel means twofold, basically. And Gänger is a word that by itself is never used, but it comes from Gehen, which is to go. So it's a person who goes or walks around twofold. So essentially a copy of an already existing person. A similar word would be Wunderkind, which is often used in relation to Mozart. And this word is also consistent of two words, Wunder and Kind. Kind simply means child and Wunder means wonder or just something really, really amazing. The word Kindergarten um, is exactly the same word in German because it literally means children and garden. The other word is Zeitgeist, which would be probably pronounced Zeitgeist in English. I don't know. Honestly, I'm sorry. Another word that consists of actually two words, which is something we really like to do in German. We just cram those words together to create a new one. So we end up with really, really long words sometimes. But the thing is, they often are easy to identify if you know the words that it consists of. Zeitgeist consists of Zeit and Geist. Zeit simply means time and Geist is a ghost or a spirit. So it's the spirit of the time. I didn't even know that this word was actually used in everyday language in uh, English speaking countries, but if someone sneezes and you say Gesundheit, it's just another way to say bless you. But the thing is, in German that word doesn't mean bless you, it means health. And yes, we do say it when someone sneezes, but we don't bless them, we wish them good health. And lastly, words that have been taken from the English language and just kind of taken over and now we use them as well in everyday life. Those would include, again, mostly computer-related terms like computer, PC, laptop, and all those kind of things. But also words like baby, babysit, um, action, as in action movies, bodyguard, discount, party, countdown, cornflakes, blue jeans, bestseller, all those kind of things. There is like literally an endless list of words that can also be used in German but are actually English words. I feel like especially nowadays a lot of newspapers try to appeal to a younger generation by including random English words into their n normal sentences which I absolutely loathe. I feel like that's there is no point to that. I have no problem with words that are used because it's just easier to use the English expression for something. But if it's just randomly replacing, I don't know, an, a normal German word that we actually can use with an English one just to sound cooler, I don't, I'm not a fan of that, to be honest. I really am not. Anyway, that was it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you could take something away from this um, if you're learning German or English, respectively. And yeah, I'm going to see you guys soon. Bye!